Monique, 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 Monique. Mm. That's what y'all want to talk oh. about. Monique went on Club Shay Club Shay. Shay Shay. Shannon Sharp is turning into like Larry King. Larry King Live. That's a compliment. No, King. that's a compliment. Oh, it's a huge compliment. That's what I'm saying. It's a huge compliment. What? So, the interview was good. He's getting these yeah. back to back huge interviews. I'll just give him one interview. Like, who, who is it a compliment to? Who is it a compliment to? I'm saying about Shannon. It's like me saying, yo, such and such is looking like the new Melissa Ford. And you'll be like, it's no, like, us, it's no, like it's, us saying that about Rick Ross' new girl. No, it's not. It, that she's the new Melissa Ford. No, it's not, because you're talking about looks, and I'm talking about the for, the show, and I'm, I'm not, talking about the the guests, and I'm talking about the attention that he's it's getting. A comparison, though. Hmm? If I just said some little newcomer, yeah. just say newcomer. Yeah, just I can't newcomer. Yeah, yeah. Just accept Patreon. If I just, <laughs> just do what we say. <laughs> I'm basically, no. I'm basically saying no, like I'm saying. doing a comparison to somebody who won Emmys and Peabodys. If you don't think that that's a compliment, y'all are fucking tripping. They're not saying that. They're just saying the exact opposite. Melissa, we're no, saying Larry King has been on television for 107 Sharp. years. It's a compliment. So yes, if you're Shannon, Shannon Sharp has been on a beautiful run these last few months. Kill it. But to now say that that's the new Larry King is a slight to. Everything Larry that Larry King is. Okay. So that's, well, all, that's all we're saying. Megan Good, okay. Julia Roberts. Okay, yeah. I'm being... Exactly. Shut up. <laughs> Y'all niggas is sound crazy. <laughs> and why you immediately got to find a great white to compare our amazing black to? I'm going to call out that little no, mixed no, Canadian no, no, white shit you be no, doing. No, no, no. Don't make it a race thing. Don't make it a race thing. I'm like, No, I'm simply just talking about the profession. We talking that's about all, black shit I'm, right I'm now. talking about the profession. <laughs> Don't I'm, start acting the Aiden Rossish up in here. Oh, we talking about black stop, shit. Stop fighting with me, okay? I'm, right. I am paying Shannon a compliment. That he is did. what I am trying yeah. to do, is pay him a compliment. Gosh. He has had two monster back-to-back interviews. Like, Monique, what, it dropped like a day or two ago? It's at like 8 million? Mm-hmm. It's doing really, really well. It's a great interview. Most of his interviews have done really well since. Now, this mm-hmm. might be doing real good, but... He's been doing good. He's killing. Yeah, he's killing. Mm. Yes. What do y'all What do y'all think of this interview? If you saw it, if you saw the clips, I saw the, a lot of it. I thought it was good. I saw um, a lot to of hear it. Monique, to hear her side after you know people accused of being hard to work with, to hear her side of the story was great. She, and looks, I, she looks hard to work with. You said what? I didn't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> we telling the truth. Yeah, I'm telling. You, she does look hard to work with. Why? She just did a three hour interview. Shitting out a bunch of people she worked with, so I mean, there's some validity to that. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> no, no. It's 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 easy to point the finger when somebody looks like they're the devil. It's easy to blame them. It's great to hear her story. What's up? How you get to look like that? Who knows? Everybody has different experiences with everyone. Gotcha. All right, let the two new niggas do their shit. Go ahead. No, no, no. It's different experiences with everyone. Go ahead, y'all. And that's hate. Did I you feel like she did it. Oh, shit. Put I your hand. Why are you doing <laughs> <laughs> How did you feel about it, man? How did you feel about it? I'm, well, I'm just... Why are we not telling the truth no more? <laughs> <laughs> just that quick. I didn't see it. The truth is fast. I didn't see it. The if truth is it, fast, though. I saw it, I would have told the truth. Okay, so Ish didn't see it. Okay. Well, I saw clips. I didn't, I didn't okay. get to watch it. And Parks, you saw... I saw some of it. I saw some okay. of it. It, it was very... It was three hours. Almost three hours. It was long. So it was, it was, long. It was pretty long. Yeah. Um... I mean, she's she makes a lot of valid points. She's sitting up there and she's talking about her experiences with Oprah Winfrey and Tyler, Tyler Perry, Perry and, and Lee crazy. Daniels. It re- it really was. And, and she's, she's also doing a comparison between, you know, when she talked about the industry, et cetera, et cetera, um, it pay and pay inequity, et cetera, et cetera. And when Taraji did, she was just like, it seems like when it's a more palatable messenger, that's when you accept it. But when it's a, you know, a big black woman, then you don't want to hear it. And a, she just, a lot of what she said sounded, she but she w- doesn't have anything to lose at this point saying what she's saying. Okay. Newark boys, you got anything to say? Because y'all are looking at each other like. I, I'm, 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 in, I'm on the moon right now. Mm-hmm. I'm not. Uh, well, Ish is looking at you like oh, I didn't smirking and shit. I didn't smirk. Yeah, bring smoke his way. I, I just <laughs> think that, um, I, so now we making a distinction between Monique being a strong black woman and Taraji being a strong black woman. Why is it always some divisive? It's always one thing that we got to make to what was me versus this person. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I just think it, I think the, 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 the weaponizing of certain shit, it just becomes redundant. 
I just think it becomes redundant. Like, if it's against white men, then, yo, the white man this, right? And then the white woman this. Then the black man is up here. She wasn't, penal- she wasn't penalizing um, uh, Taraji for saying what she said. I know, but she made a distinction between Taraji and her being the messenger. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But she talked. She talked about that a lot. She talked about the. She talks a lot about the messenger and the message, and how she had said things in the past. You know more than just you know what Taraji had said, and how it was ill received because of her appearance, and because people just weren't willing to willing to process it as she said it. She also talked about the fact that she had a recording of um, Tyler Perry, I heard like about where that he part. where he. Openly admitted openly to ad- yeah. starting a lie about her. And if mm-hmm. that is true, that is disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that. And actually, she told Shannon, you heard it. Mm-hmm. He admitted it. He said he heard it. I heard it. You heard the recording? It's out. Really? They put it on Twitter. Someone did. That recording is out. And maybe we should pause so y'all can hear it. Yeah, please. Please. Okay, we're back and everyone heard it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of my problem with the Monique interview for me i can hear how her interpretation of things interrupts things i'm not going to call her problematic Mm -hmm. that i don't i don't i don't think that's right but as a problematic nigga (laughs) (laughs) sometimes when they call us that shit we be problematic now Mm -hmm. it's still racist because we black (laughs) but that's the thing. You get to act out. You wild out when you're black. You use the race card a little bit. <laughs> she beefing with blacks. Yeah, but she beefing with like she black, beefing black people, elite. But mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. she beefing with Tyler. No. But listen, mm-hmm. back to my point about her interpretation. I don't want to. I don't want to get lost here. And uh, in the Tyler Perry interview, in the Tyler Perry clip, mm-hmm. I do believe that Tyler Perry has apologized to her for saying that she was difficult to work with. I 100 percent believe that he said mm-hmm. that they had a talk and he apologized. Monique is in this interview saying, how you going to make it right? Well, if I'm Tyler Perry and I'm a billionaire, I made it right. I acknowledge my wrong and I apologize to you and we're going to clear the slate from here. Monique is in that interview talking about, no, I need to be compensated because I lost tens of millions of dollars from this. So, And she t- told Can- Shannon, Shannon said, I assume you have lawyers. And she said... Nah, I, I got lawyers, but nah, I well, ain't gotta do no lawyers. Time, time is gonna tell this, make it right. See, that's where I have a problem with Monique's interpretation. I do not believe that Tyler Perry needs to dig in his pocket and pay her because he said something that he shouldn't have said. I don't believe that. What if it affected her from getting business? I still don't believe that. That's what he's, that's what she's, I still don't believe that's what she's alluding to is, well, not alluding. She's outright saying that basically his stance and, you know, the the fact that the, yeah, exactly. The fact that the apology might have happened behind closed doors, she needed that apology because his, him saying that was kind of like a soft blackball. And she goes on to describe how relationships with other people Mm -hmm. who said that they would, you know, stay in her corner or come to her aid publicly, how they basically just wanted nothing to do with her. But in her version, it's a soft black ball. In his version, I could totally see where if we book you to do a movie and it's not in the contract that you have to do press and you say, I'm not doing press. I could see him going and telling his people, hey. She won't do press if it ain't in there. So be weary, buyer beware. So, so that's I, was, that's, mm-hmm. I don't think that that it may it may result in a soft black ball, mm-hmm. but you're culpable. We all we all work we all work for the Joe Button podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. If Joe told us, "Yo, um, I, I, we gonna do something for Grammys." Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, yo, I, two Thursdays from now. Yo, could everybody Get show up together. two hours early and have a suit or a tuxedo on because we have um, uh, Pope taking pictures of us in all these different scenarios, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, we, t- we're going to be on the red carpet doing the interviews. Everybody get mm-hmm. a tux. We're going to fly out. I'm going to cover the hotels. I'm going to cover everything. Mm-hmm. If one of y'all say, that's not in my contract, you're absolutely right. But that but, does, Joe can interpret that as... Yo, you kind of being hard to work with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Well, if, if we had to come here three hours early one day mm-hmm. so that we could take pictures, Poe going to have us on the water, whatever, with our tuxedos on, whatever, whatever, we can honestly say, yo, we our obligation is to be here at XYZ time. 
And you would be right. And you would be right. Be, yeah. mm-hmm. But then Joe but could so also I. say, yo, I'm, yeah, one, I'm not doing you no favors. You can't ask me for no more favors. That's right. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not obligated to publicly speak on your behalf anymore because you're not willing to go above and beyond unless you're getting paid. Cool. It's give and take. Hey. It's give mm-hmm. and take. He, he hit that on the head. And, and this is not even my most egregious issue with her interpretation in watching this. In watching this. She goes on to say that her and Kevin Hart had a conversation, mm-hmm. them two. Mm-hmm. 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 And in that talk, Somebody said... His lawyer. No, no. They were talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Not his lawyer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of them said, hey, we're going to do some work. I'm an executive produce on your shit. We, yeah. the, the talk that you had. Yes. The phony yeah. talk. We know the talk. Yeah. He, yeah. Had the phony, be phony. he had the phony talk. Mm-hmm. She, she said, I immediately hung up and called my company yes. mm-hmm. in the mall mm-hmm. and said, Kevin Hart said that he is down to executive produce and work and do such and such and such. Tell that to the company you're talking to because that's going to get this green lit faster, of course, if of you course. add Kevin mm-hmm. Hart's name to anything. Of course. She's right, not right. the only one that knows that. Kevin Hart knows that also. Mm-hmm. So now, that's not how I do business as a billionaire or someone that has those, those, uh, those goals. Uh-huh. That's true. That I, is not how we conduct business. That's not business. how this works. Mm-hmm. So what Kevin Hart did was call his manager. His manager, did. Yeah. And said, go whatever do the dirty, whatever go do he, the dirty work. Whatever he said, which by Monique's version was, yo, I don't want nothing to do with Monique. I do not want to work with Monique at all. So when she does this move, you, you make let sure them you know, already, like, yeah. I, yo, I have done that millions of times. <laughs> yo, I, I've, I've done that. Yo, nigga. 95% of the that. time when you niggas come up to me in the street and I say cool and shake my head and dap you up yeah. and say let's work, we okay. gonna that get it. But okay. that don't make it right, nigga? Yeah, but, that don't make it right. Yeah, so why would, okay, if it's somebody that you probably are, you know, you, you know you're not gonna see them. You know what I mean? They're not it gonna cross your make, path. don't hold up, because I'm on Rambo. It don't make it wrong. It does. It kind of How? makes it really wrong. Now, why? Let me tell you why. How? And also, hold on. So, cause, right. one second, because you guys it. haven't seen it, so I want you to make your point. But be- right before this, he had handed her like a really big check because she and her family were suffering. So he was mm-hmm. like, "Here," Kevin she said, Hart. She, yeah, "Kevin Hart." So she said she's paid oh, back. That made the it money. worse for me. But so that one made it worse for that, me. She paid him back with interest. Though. I don't she give a fuck with... what she did. I'm Kevin Hart, and in a time of need for I you, he's the nicest guy. I in the dug world. in my pocket. Yes. And I paid you. So as then, as a friend, no, hold up, don't try to brush over that. Stop for a minute. As a friend, I didn't have to do none of that shit. Right. That was the extent of my courtesy. You paid it back, great. But that was the courtesy. So then why? The nerve of you to still, after that, go add my name to a business deal? But, Are you crazy? But then, no, that's not how you do business. I'm sorry. But I'm, why I'm, bother I'm, I'm saying it? Why bother saying that you'll even participate if you have no intentions so, of doing it? Melissa, you're an actress and you've been in L.A. We don't have time for that. You're an actress shit, and you yo. lived in L.A. I heard, I heard that's, that's and I think shit. That I heard that's is, L.A. shit. It really, oh, to take a meeting, yeah, to did. take a meeting, to talk about taking no, another meeting where shit never actually happens. We should do lunch. That's New York shit. That's just everywhere. I do. Shit. So and that, I hate where? that shit. Yeah, but that don't mean that it's not a thing. It's a thing. It is a it is a thing. And if, industry veterans know it's a thing. I'm not gonna talk about Kevin Hart and Monique. Like they don't know that that's a thing. But, but we she, also don't know like the true like kind of like you know the sense of their relationship. So one. she she no might act- relationship makes that move okay. And Kevin Hart's clear reaction to it tells you that. My thing is this. Putting my name on anything in Hollywood. I'm the golden child right now. Yeah, he is. Monique, not so much. And I hang out with all these golden child type of niggas. That you beefing with. Mm -hmm. Yo, at that level, it's just a little different. I can see that. She does not have the pass to do that. And even if I am, even if I did have that conversation, would you let me approach that then? Yes. I'll be the one to say it. No, Joe Biden.